Hi everybody, it's Terry Ryder from hotspotting.com.au. Earlier this week we published our uh, latest edition of National Top 10 Best Buys Report, our most popular report. And as a matter of interest, I went back and had a look at um, some of the places that we recommended four or five years ago, just to see how they'd gone. It's remarkable to see some of the growth that's been achieved by some of the locations that have done particularly well. There were, there were a few uh, that we were recommending four or five years ago in Melbourne, some of which um, I, I guess caused a little bit of surprise when we recommended one. One in particular was, was the suburb of Sunshine, which um, at that time, maybe still, I'm not sure, had um, a bit of a stigma attached to it as being a, a down market place, a problem market perhaps. But um, we could see a lot of potential in that market and we're, we're very happy to recommend it in our, our top 10 best buys reports back then uh, because it had uh, offered affordability, good proximity to desirable features, not that far from the CBD as, as one feature, but particularly good infrastructure. A um, couple of uh, university campuses, a major hospital and the new transport hub that was built uh, in that area, uh, particularly um, as part of the regional rail project, $800 million uh, transport hub, which added to the appeal of that particular location. So in the last five years, um, or five years ago, if we put it this way, five years ago, the median house price for Sunshine was uh, 400000 Three years ago, it was 475000 Today, it's 760000 So it's grown. In the last three years, 60%. In the last five years, it's grown 90%. So almost doubled in that time. Um, exceptional growth performance. Obviously um, benefited from the upcycle that we've seen in Melbourne over the last, uh, say, three to four years. But um, it was an area that was destined to grow anyway because of the particular qualities that it had. Some of the other ones um, that we nominated at that town had, have had similar sorts of growth um, down in the far southeast in the Casey local government area, suburbs like Cranbourne and Narra Warren, which have grown in the last three years about 55% um, to the point where Narra Warren's median price is now 600,000 and Cranbourne's 505,000. So those, those were all locations which back then were uh, in the affordable range. They still are in uh, down towards that um, particular price range, um, but a lot less affordable than they were because they've had such an extreme, uh, incredible growth over the last uh, three to five years. Um, now, speaking of locations, um, we've got another live Q&A coming up. Uh, next week. Uh, we've done two so far. We do them once a month, early in the month on a Wednesday evening. Uh, the first two have been very successful, had a lot of interest from our our followers and listeners. And so the next one will be next week, Wednesday the 2nd of May at 7.30, at 7.30 in the Eastern States, uh, 5.30 p.m. in Western Australia and 7 p.m. South Australian Northern Territory. Um, your opportunity to ask me questions, burning questions that you have, anything to do with residential real estate across Australia, any of the issues currently impacting on residential real estate markets or about locations you're interested in. And we do find that uh, people particularly want to ask about particular locations that may be because you own property in a particular location or you're thinking of buying in a particular place and you'd like to know what, uh, what I think of it. So please uh, put that in your diaries, tune in um, Wednesday evening next week, the 2nd of May, and be part of it. Um, I'm going to be talking in all sorts of ways, in particular about location, because we've got a new feature coming up on the Hotspotting website shortly, which relates to people's interest in location. So that's it for now. Terry Ryder from Hotspotting signing off, and I will talk to you again soon.